Hi guys, welcome to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. I am your host, Sonia Lee, and today we are making shortbread cookies. They are keto and they are low carb. We're gonna make them with walnuts and without walnuts. You can make them with pecans, pecans, however you say it, you're gonna love it. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when I post a new recipe and when I go live while I cook for my family. I also want you guys to visit my website at www.ketoelieve.us for the full recipe along with the macros. Now, before we jump into this recipe, please support this channel by smashing the heck out of that like button sharing with five people you know and if you're interested get you some gear i have motivational merch on my online store the link is in the description below now let me show you how i keto all right guys so to get started we're going to take our stick of butter i chopped it up like this into i guess tablespoons and we melted it no always use a microwavable bowl guys and I melted at 30 second intervals, stirring in between each. Next, we're gonna take our quarter cup of swerf and we're gonna put it in here. And as I mentioned before, um, I like to, I guess, warm up that sugar, the sugar substitute, any sugar substitute that you use because it takes away the cooling effect. It really helps with that. Now you might have very little of it, but it's not as strong as when you just put the sugar substitute with the flour mixture instead. So this helps substantially to eliminate that. Gonna, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm gonna mix it until it's just like almost melted. It's not gonna melt obviously, but it's there. See how that looks? Now I'm gonna add my vanilla. And just give it a good stir. How it should look. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Now, here's the almond flour, and I always say to do this. You can use one of those sifters for the flour, but this works perfectly to get those little lumps out. All right, so now we're gonna add the wet mixture to the dry mixture. Make sure you get all of that sugar. <laughs> all right, and now we're gonna give it a good stir. You don't wanna stir too much um, the, the mixture because it makes the cookie dough heavy. But I do wanna encourage you to once again visit my website for the full recipe along with the macros at www.ketowithlee.us. Okay, that's looking really good. Now, like I said in the beginning, we're gonna do some with walnuts and some without because see that, that's how it looks right there. It looks great. It is, it is a runny mixture, sort of. Now, here I'm dividing it in half because my three-year-old Jaden does not like nuts. He's not allergic, however, he doesn't like them. So at this point, you're free to add whatever you want to the mixture. I went ahead and chopped the nuts up and I put them in this mixture. The other half I'm gonna leave plain. And as I mentioned, you know, always I always encourage you guys to play with the recipes you know go ahead and add something if you like you know if you don't like the walnuts and you prefer almonds do something like that see that that's your dough and this is the plain one and now we have our lined baking sheet and I'm taking one teaspoon it is a heaping teaspoon and we're gonna roll it into balls just like that and you wanna put them two inches apart at least because they do spread out. 
So I just use my two fingers as a guide. There you go. Just like that. All right, let's keep going. I wanted to let you know that in, once these are in the oven and baked, allow them to cool for at least 10 minutes before you try and take them off the, the baking sheet because they will crumble. You have to let them harden with oh, keto cookies are just that way, right? So let them harden into a cookie. And that's all you have to do. And you're obviously gonna do the same thing with the plain ones two inches apart and now we're off to the oven we're gonna bake these at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown around the edges always check at midpoint guys see how they're golden brown around the edges here I think I cooked them a little too much to be honest but just keep an eye on that oven I always like to check at midpoint now all that's left to do is to eat them don't forget to visit my website, www.ketowithlee.us, for the full recipe and the macros. Thank you all for your support, and thanks for watching How I Keto. See you next time.